Hello, this is Mark from MendingThings.com. I want to do a quick video uh, on Fusion 360 by Autodesk on how to put an embossed or a engraved text on a cylindrical surface um, so that it wraps around that surface. I've watched several videos on YouTube uh, really appreciate people to put those together. I, I learned a lot from from them. Um, I did seem to struggle with all of the the steps that they were taking, and once I got to playing with it, I came up with my own method that's <coughs> similar. Uh, maybe got a, a a little different step or two. Uh, so I wanted to share that with everyone. So we're just going to start out with a three dimensional item that I've already uh, got here on the screen. It's a uh, uh, a handle and a holder for the uh, Walmart brand of the Yeti style tumblers uh, the Ozark trail brand and this is on Thingiverse I'll put the link in uh, the comments or in the description below uh, but anyway uh, we want to put a text across the front of that my wife's wanting her name on one so we'll do that uh, we're gonna click on start out here we'll click on the front and you'll notice I've got the uh, origin turned on so uh, that's that's something you'll need and then click on sketch go to text and click on that pane that XY uh, pane there so that's the axis that we want to be typing on we'll type in her name Gail I'm gonna make that a little larger and it looks good we'll drag it down here somewhere into the center and click OK so uh, then we can click stop sketch now what you'll see is the uh, the text inside there which is what we want um, the next thing we want to do is go to extrude and select that text that you just created and drag that out you know 10 millimeters or so and that looks good and click OK so now you can see you got three dimensional text in here and it created these bodies over here uh, one for each part of the letters so what we want to do is select all of those uh, and we'll do that by holding the first one or hitting the first one and clicking and then shift and click on the last one now we've got that entire text set uh, we're gonna hit M to move it and we're gonna drag that out uh, we'll need that fairly uh, good distance you know from in front of that cylinder wall so we can do something here in a second and then we're going to click OK. So the next thing we want to do is uh, extrude the back face of these letters to this cylinder wall. Uh, when we do that then it'll create the shape that we need uh, for our lettering. So the first thing we want to do is rotate around where we can see the back side of those letters. That's why I wanted you to have it a little farther away uh, from the device there just to make it a little easier and then we want to go to create and extrude and then you want to select each of those profile faces on the back of the letters make sure you get right on the profile don't grab a uh, sidewall or something so now you've got all that selected um, what you don't want to do uh, is do a distance here's what you want to change uh, you want to go to an object so now it's asking okay so what's that object what's the cylinder wall and you can see it it extruded it to that cylinder wall um, also uh, just leave that op operation at join and click OK so now if we roll back around here um, what we can see is that uh, drag this back into view you know it's just the what's happened is those back the back side of these uh, extrusions are just right at the surface of this so we want to set those back into the surface a couple of millimeters is our next step and we're going to do that by going over here to each body and selecting those but we'll just do that same shift and select everything at once we're going to hit the M key again to move and now we're going to move it back in two millimeters so at negative two uh, to get back into that surface and hit OK. So now though that is sunken in, sunk in to the surface uh, two millimeters. 
The, the next step, uh, which is actually the last step, if all you're looking for is the engraved look, uh, is to go to Modify, Combine, and the target body is the cylinder wall, and our tool body is each of these tool bodies are each of these uh, letters, and actually uh, you got to make sure you click get all of that. So what I'm going to do is come over here, and since that's got an I in it, and we check everything, just make sure we get all of the bodies of those letters, okay? And then the operation is cut, and you don't want a new component, and you do not want to keep the tool. Just click OK. And <coughs> there you have it. So now you have, uh, you know, if you wanted that engraved look, uh, you know, you've already, you're, you're already there. Uh, this is where... Uh, my method I thought was a little easier because up until this point it's exactly the same and there's only one more step if you wanted to make this a uh, uh, an embossing where it's raised from the surface. Uh, so what you want to do next is go to press pull and it's asking you know what profiles so you want to grab the profiles which is the bottom of that each one of these uh, letters here again don't get the wall so you remember we sunk it in two millimeters. So if we want to pull it out, you know, let's say that we want it to come out three millimeters. Well, what we're looking for is probably five millimeters uh, extrusion then, so that that brings the three millimeters out from the surface there. And click OK. Now, now that we've done that, you can see we have the raised lettering. So I hope this uh, helps someone. Uh, maybe this method is a little easier. Maybe it's not, you know. But uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, check out all my videos on YouTube under Mending Things. Um, you can follow us. Uh, you can also check out my blog at MendingThings.com. There are some things on the blog that's not on the videos and vice versa. So. Hope everybody enjoyed and have a great day.